Hey, welcome back. You're looking good today. Thanks for growing with me. Now, do you keep wishing for or wanting something new in your life? But does that energy just kind of fizzle out and then you feel defeated? Maybe, just maybe, your daily routine keeps producing the old life you have, not the new one you want. Maybe it's time to try some new things. I'm Sage, I'm a growth coach, and today's topic is one I've been working on recently, and I thought you might wanna grow with me too. That is set a spark, try new things. So why do you think it's important to get out of our comfort zone to spark change, real change in our life? Well, I've got three reasons. Number one, it changes our energy. And this whole world is energy, right? So I believe routines are a really good thing to have in life. They help us be productive and reach our goals and kind of think of it like a math equation. If X plus Y equals Z, and that's what we've been doing to get to where we are right now, we might have to change up the Y, X plus K equals to get something new at the end of the equation, right? Because we have to shake up the variables. Variables, if we keep doing the same things, adding the same things together to equal this product, if we want a different product here, then we gotta change up the variables. It's all about change in energy. Number two, it brings us more confidence and momentum. So even if you see yourself as a pretty confident person, if you, you know, add a new goal for yourself, you get really excited about that goal and you achieve it, there is this empowerment that comes from that. And it brings you just a lot of reasons to be grateful and a lot of good momentum moving forward. Third reason why it's good to get out of our comfort zone is, well, comfort is basically the killer of all forward progress. Now don't get me wrong, I like comfort. I hope you like comfort too. And I even think we should reside in a comfortable space often in life. It gives us the opportunity to be more present, to be more grateful, right? But if we really want a new outcome here, a new change, then we can't expect to keep doing the same thing and getting different results. Here's a quote for you. Even the largest of fires start from a tiny spark. That same potential is within you. Set your dreams on fire. I love that one. Set your dreams on fire. <sighs> right? So when was the last time you chose to do something outside your comfort zone and it made you feel more alive? Okay, for some people, they're like, oh, I know what I want to do. I want to do sky I want to go skydiving. Oh, good for you. That's awesome. It's not really on my bucket list. Um, I don't need to really set the spark that high. Maybe you do. And that's the cool thing about setting a spark is it's different for everyone. Um, but you're looking at what's going to, you know, set your heart on fire, you know, your passions. What can you think... Um, of as a spark that you could use right now to shake up your routine. Those are something you've been meaning to do. Um, one I just picked, which I'm excited about, is read one book a week. I'm so excited. Um, that's, my, that's my goal for the next three months. So um, I'm kind of hoping that some of those are gonna be fun books, some of those are gonna be growth books, some of those are gonna be health books. I've picked kind of a variety, but hopefully that's a spark for me. What could you do for you? Now, I've got three ways to set a spark to help blaze a trail to your dreams. So I'm gonna get you kind of going in that um, mentality, that way of thinking, and then you pick a spark for yourself. So number one, get the energy flowing. So you could journal. You could use affirmations, you could tell your best friend, you could dream, you could hope, you can pray, you can hire a life coach or a growth coach to help you walk through that process. 
The second way to set a spark is do something. I didn't say figure it out, out all of it right now. I didn't say that. I said do something. Okay. So I'm only asking for one small step. Make the phone call. Read the blog. Meditate on it. Just do one small thing. I think for a lot of us, we get stuck in the, well, if I, I have to figure out how to do this and then this and then this and then this and the whole big picture, I've got to have that all figured out first. And there's your, <laughs> there's where you get stuck, right? Think of one phone call you could make. Think of one thing you could research online and go do it. Do something. Number three is intend. Intend opportunities opening up intend motivation, intend reasons to be grateful, set your intention. Okay. Say it right away in the morning. Say it before you go to sleep at night, say it multiple times during your day until that intention is what you are breathing in every minute. So get the energy flowing, do something and set that intention. Set a spark, try new things, grow with me. It's about time. Don't you think? You got this. I know you do. Thanks for joining me. Follow me at growingsagejourney.com or follow me on YouTube, uh, Sage Robinson Miller, for lots and lots of videos for your growth. I appreciate you. Love you.